Hello, my gorgeous Scorpios. Dusty here at the Scorpio Priestess doing a guidance for the month of September. Scorpio, this is a deep read, baby. This is going to be deep. And my Scorpio, the only, but, the only person I feel that could take a deep reading such as this would be a Scorpio. We have the King of Cups, as always, in my Scorpio reads, showing up strong, baby. The star, as well as the high priestess. Now, Scorpio, this is a very spiritual time. September is going to be an extremely spiritual month. So get ready. I'm preparing myself as well. <clears throat> I feel like we are going to be receiving downloads from spirit. Um, our angels, our ancestors are going to be loud in our ear. We have honor yourself and honor your mystical creative force. Scorpio, you are a very spiritual being. You are a very spiritual sign. You can go to the depths of beyond, but then shine as bright as hell with shit smacked all over your face like a diamond, baby. Nobody sees the shit that's all smeared all over your body. Nobody sees the ash that's all in your hair. You know what it's like to be deep. You know what it's like to be on the dark side. But Scorpio, September is going to be a very bright, beautiful time for you. A lot of healing coming in. But you are going to, your intuition is going to be so heightened. It's going to be unbelievable. But you need to remember to honor yourself. Spirit is trying to tell you very, very clearly here. You need to honor yourself and honor your mystical creative force. So your angels and spirit guides are giving you downloads of new creative ideas, are giving you downloads of creative ways to solve problems, um, possibly creative ways to help make money. There's something that we are being given in the month of September that's going to be profound. We also have crown chakra. Meditation in silence. I sit still in meditation regularly as I know there is power in silence. So um, I don't love all of these affirmations on these cards, but I got these to really kind of um, tune in on what chakra we should be working on. And they've been a great tool. So you're being asked to meditate, to contemplate, to silence your mind because you are being given downloads Scorpio that are going to help you move forward am I clear on what my soul really wants take out the shoulds and limitations and get out of your head pay attention to your heart's desire instead if you knew it was impossible to fail what would you do wherever you go go with all of your heart today's soul action ask yourself what is it that my soul really wants what does my heart crave? Then take one step in that direction. So there's something that you want to do, Scorpio, and I keep picking up on this. There's something you've been wanting to do. There's, there's some creative project, something you've been wanting to start. Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's a side hustle. But it's being divinely guided, sweetie. You are being asked so strongly. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Scorpio, inner voice, purple, crown chakra, crown chakra, purple in all of these cards. Something's going on here. We are receiving major downloads from our angels and spirit guides. Major things are about to take place in your life. You are about to have a major breakthrough. If you have been feeling stuck, if you have been feeling like you are um, in a creative block. Maybe um, there's something you want to write about, blog about. Maybe there's something, there's something, Scorpio. And I am receiving the download that it's something about the dark side. Something that you experienced in your life that was very traumatic, that was very dark. Maybe it was dealing with a narcissist. Maybe it was losing somebody. Maybe it was a drug addiction. There's something that you did on the dark side, baby. 
that you are now out shining bright. You are shining like you are glowing. Oh my gosh. This is such a clear. I'm so frustrated because I just wish every Scorpio would watch this video and see this. And I can't get the message across strong enough. Access your gifts. Explore your treasure chest. Treasure chest. Accept who you truly are. Scorpio. Again, look. Crown chakra, baby. There's something that you have, a gift that, is been, that has been given to you. You only you have this gift, Scorpio. This is so beautiful and profound. If you could feel my energy right now, I am so like, oh, I just cannot manifest your dreams. Focus on your vision. Seek satis satisfaction and contentment, Scorpio. Look at the house and the family in the background. Honey, there's something that you want to do. Again, with the rainbow, listen, I had a reading that I said something about a rainbow. I felt like the rainbow meant something. And then I seen a rainbow with 222 two, two underneath it. If you are seeing rainbow, Scorpio, something big is about to come for you in your life. We have a rainbow again. Create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. Oh, my God. I can't make it up, Scorpio. I can't make this up. I am a Scorpio myself, and I'm going to take this reading and one with it because there's so many things that I've been wanting to do, so many avenues that I want to go down. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that. I don't speak that way. I'm hearing avenues to go down. Spirit is giving you a lot of different opportunities. If you feel like you don't have them yet, you're about to. You're about to start having major breakthroughs I'm hearing, major contracts, major clients, major customers, major opportunities come into your life. There's something that you want to do, honey, and it is going to manifest your dreams. In the month of September, you need to get quiet. If you're not accustomed to meditating, please start. 10 minutes a day. Oh, soul child. I love these cards. I use these as a divination tool for myself. Typically, I don't get them out in readings because they're a little deep. And um, I felt called to do that. So let's see what Soul Child says. <laughs> Rebirth is upon you. Beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for a new life and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, intense inner work, or physical transformation has arrived. Enjoy getting to know your new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer, enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take time to explore the increased light power of love. Scorpio. You, are, you have undergone the death of the old order. Nothing is as it was, not will be again. You have had to learn to detach and release, let go over and over in so many ways you have experienced an inner death as you have bravely surrendered that which no longer serves your growth of your life. I'm feeling very emotional. Even if you once loved it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it, this is so big for you. This is so amazing. You have had to give up, walk away. You have had to learn so many lessons. Your time is now. Excuse me. Your time, Scorpio, is now. Embrace this. Spirit is begging you to embrace this. You are going through a rebirth. You are done with the death. It is time to start anew and look. Look at that little person. Look at that kid reaching for the light. The universe is giving you something. Your spirit team is bringing in something for you, Scorpio. And it is going to be profound. King of Cups. 
Give me the king of cups. I don't usually get upset this way. I don't usually get this emotional and I apologize. It's so, it just hit me so hard. This is, these are happy tears, but they're also tears for the people that you had to leave behind, the lessons that you had to learn. I just felt an increased flow of sadness for you. It has been a hard, long fought fucking road and you are coming into your power. You are standing back up. There is hope and inspiration and you need to follow your voice. You have some very wonderful new things coming your way, some very creative things coming your way. You possibly have another water sign. You could have somebody coming in to give you an apology. Doesn't have to be a lover, could be family, could be friends. I'm sure you've been hurt many times and it's going to bring a tower moment, Scorpio, in a good way. Somebody could be bringing in a message about money, a message of, of hope, help and support. And it's going to be in a good way. What is the star spirit? Tell me about the inspiration of the star. It's going to affect, oh my God, you can't make it up, Scorpio. The fucking star clarified by the star. No way. Oh, wow. Well. You could be uh, going viral. You could become famous over fucking night. Something big is about to happen for you. This is hope, Scorpio. This is hope. This is inspiration. This is healing. This is power from above. And I'm talking, I just clarified the star with the star, baby keep going. You can do this. You are going to get what you want. Keep your thoughts pure. Keep your emotions balanced, Scorpio. You might want to go into introspection. You may want to kind of hermit yourself. You possibly have been hermiting yourself to begin with. You're inside your shell right now. You're, you're hiding in your cave and that's okay because baby, when you come out, Everything, everything, love, money, the dog, the 2.5 kids, whatever you want, you will have it. You have been through so much. This is a gift. This is your, your payback for everything you have been through, for doing the inner work, for following your voice. You're going to take a leap of faith here and follow your voice. Look at me. Look, I mean, look, look at this. Look at this. Good fortune awaits, baby. Follow your inner voice, Scorpio. Take a leap of faith, honey. There's a lot of yellow here. You may want to do some solar plexus chakra work because I feel like you're going to drop the burdens. The burdens are going to be dropped after you start really following your inner voice, your inner guidance here. And take this leap of faith, Scorpio. Good karma awaits you, baby. Drop the burdens. Oh, this is so beautiful. Spirit, tell me about the King of Cups and the Tower here. Oh, all that glitters and loyal heart. What do they say? Everything, Scorpio. But you, my friend, have a loyal heart. You have one of the most loyal, pure hearts ever. And you know what is standing out in me? And I've never noticed this in this card before. Look at this face. Your spirit team is guiding you, showing you all that glitters is not gold. Just because it might look pretty on the outside does not mean that it is, is on the inside. There could be somebody in your life that is not 100 Something in your life that is faulty, that may come crashing down, but it is for your highest good. Look at that face. Spirit is guiding you, telling you, you have a loyal heart. You're about to meet somebody with a loyal heart as well. You actually could start meeting actual friends. I feel like you've been thinking a lot or somebody's been thinking of you. This is not a love reading and I'm trying everything I have not to focus on love. Between worlds, you're between worlds right now. Look at you coming from the darkness into the light, coming out from the darkness, walking into the light, Scorpio. Come to the light. 
There's so much beauty here for you. Come out with shit smacked all over your face, with ashes all down your hair, screaming, I made it, I made it, I made it. Because you have. You have went to the dark side, honey, and you're coming back out now. Yeah, see? I just clarified the Knight of Wands. You've had a lot of chaos and conflict with somebody, and you need to follow your inner voice about this person. Mm. You could be a feminine. You could have been dealing with the feminine. Spirit's telling you again to stay silent and breathe. Get silent. Look, we have the face again. Get silent and breathe. And I'm seeing the face again. I've never seen that in these cards before. I've never seen it. So this is telling me that your spirit team is with you. Your spirit team is guiding you. They want to see you. Uh, look, yeah. And you, they want to see you be all you can be, honey. You're going to start receiving gifts from the universe. You're going to be giving and receiving back for once. You may have a cat. You may have a calico cat. Um, you may like pink Scorpio. There's something going on though with the universe giving you your gifts, baby, giving you what you deserve in the here and now, but stay in the now. The past is gone. The future has not happened. All we have is now, right now, today. What can you do to better you, Scorpio? What can you do to be happier, more joyful? What can you do to open your chakras more? It, the more work you do on yourself, the more love you give to yourself, the better. Spirit's telling you to relax, unplug, get away. In September, maybe you should go away for the weekend. If you can't afford it, just stay, get a bath, get a bath. Leave all this behind. Oh, sweetie, you must be going through something right now. This could be internal as well. Look at this. Something's going on. And this is why I feel maybe I'm feeling so emotional. You're going to be okay, Scorpio. You're going to get out of it. I promise you, September is going to be a beautiful month for you. You may be meeting your soul tribe, a soulmate. Um, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend. You could be meeting um, a lot of a lot of different people that are really important to you. There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of sweetness in September. You're very determined and you're going to get there. You're on a self-discovery mission and, and you, you have found yourself again, Scorpio. I feel like you feel like yourself again. Like maybe for a long time because of all the chaos and conflict, you didn't know who the fuck you were. But you got big plans and big abundance. And September is going to be your fucking month. Excuse my language, but it is going to be your month. Give me one minute. I want to pull Animal Oracle and then we will finish. But uh, listen, wow, look what just rolled out of the deck. Abundance. Wow, Scorpio, you have something really big coming for you, honey. So buckle your, oh my God, I knew it. I felt really called to do this. I felt called to pull these cards here and I haven't used them in a while. We have Shaman. You are a creator and a magician. Use your gifts for good. Use your power and your wisdom and words to connect with the element of spirit and glide through the void. You are... Honor the place as the keeper of mysteries. I, I messed that card up. And we have regeneration, Scorpio. You are a survivor. You are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are the master of regeneration. Spirit is telling you, confirming everything I just said. You are a magical being. A magical being. A fucking shape shifter. You can make it through anything. You come out, come out glowing. Look at this abundance, shaman, and regeneration, Scorpio. My friend, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. 
you need to start praying, Scorpio. You need to start saying your affirmations, keeping your, your thoughts clear because you're manifesting big right now. Something big is coming in September. If you'd like a personal read, it is in the description. If you like my vibe, please like and subscribe. I am trying to build this channel and I appreciate it. Oh, I wish you so much luck, so much love and many blessings. Love and light.